Okay, Matt Carroll is with the Double Diamond. They are located right at the base of the Eagle Bond Gondola, so you can get all your skiing needs. Matt, tell me how important a good wax is right now. <laughs> it's but by the way, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now tell me how important a good wax is. <laughs> this time of year, it's really important. Yeah. Um, you get those, I mean, it's been so warm, and uh, you get a little bit later in the day, and you get those kind of almost puddles. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see the moisture coming out of the snow, and... Uh, it just kind of wants to grab your skis and suck them down and uh, you really need a good wax layer on there to uh, kind of cruise through that. Right. I mean, when you say it grabs your skis and want to suck them down, anybody that's been skiing the past couple of days, we're all like, yeah, yeah, we know that feeling because not only does it grab your skis, but then your body keeps going and right. you can totally can wipe out. Totally lead to a face plant for now, sure. Now, is this something that we can get a wax and just rub it on and kind of have a quick fix or do we do we need to go to the it, shop and have kind of the full deal? I mean, ideally, you really want to soak it in and we've got an infrared waxer <laughs> that kind of bakes the base and then soaks that wax in and... Uh, it, that's really the best way. I mean, they've got there's some rub-on waxes out there that are really good, but they're yeah. only going to last like a run or two. Oh, really? A yeah. run or two? Yeah, you okay, got to so kind of reapply those. So it's way better to go to the shop. And, that, and you guys do that. What's your turnover turnaround for something like that? This time of year, it's pretty quiet. So okay. usually, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect. So see, you can go to the Double Diamond this morning. And seriously, if you don't have a good wax, if you're just coming up from the Front Range or something and you haven't been up since it was cold, I, go to the Double Diamond. Yeah, because, I mean, we're still, I think it's supposed to be over 50 today. Yeah, so, I do um, too. And that, for the rest of the season, basically. Yeah, I mean, it looks like all next week is going to be kind of over 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. So uh, really take care of those skis. Yeah, take care of them so they take care of you and you can keep skiing and riding. I know you've been skiing a lot, but right now let's talk about work because Double Diamond, you're changing your hours, you've got some sales going on. Yeah, we've Thinking got, uh, you know, we're kind of, yeah, I mean, tomorrow was supposed to be closing day, but we've got another week to go and uh, we're kind of, we're doing eight to six right now mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be open until the uh, 17th. And then after that, we're going to close for a few days just to do inventory and kind of get things, uh, start switching things over for the summer. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll be open, like I said, 8 to 6 till the 17th and then uh, close probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, okay. um, 18th, 19th, 20th. As people are starting to think about storing their skis and putting them away for the season, are there any helpful hints that you want to tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't put them away muddy. That's the biggest thing you oh, see okay. in the, the fall of people bringing these skis. It's like they just literally came off the hill, skied through a mud puddle and threw them in the garage. Why? Why don't you want to do that? Well, the, the, the edges get all rusty and I mean, it's just really much more difficult to clean them up and get mm -hmm. them back to, uh, it's going to cost you more to get them back to uh, skiing condition okay. in the fall. Hose them down if Hose there's down, mud out get there. Get some storage wax on there so the bases don't okay. dry out over the summer. All right, storage wax. Where did you ski? You've been skiing the past couple of days. Where have you been skiing on Vail? Uh, I, on Thursday, I was with some friends, uh, kind of had a beginner skier with us, so mm -hmm. we just kind of skied some groomers and uh, cruised, you know, Game Creek, and uh, Game it Creek. was great. I mean, yeah. the skiing's been, I mean, the snow coverage is awesome. Okay, so. good. Well, I hope we've that... Got, well, mm -hmm. we do have some great sales going, okay. like you, you mentioned, and uh, <clears throat> we've got most of our outerwear, uh, either 40 or 50% off, mm -hmm. skis are 50% off. Wow, skis um, are 50? Goggles, helmets, we've got a lot mm -hmm. of stuff on sale. Okay, good. Goggles, skis, helmets, oh my gosh, double Everything. diamonds, where yeah. you want to go. All right, you have an awesome weekend. I hope that you get out to uh, enjoy some of those All groomers right. next week as I well. Can't. Matt is with the Double Diamond. You can find them right in Lion's Head. Seriously, if you don't have a good wax, go stop by the Double Diamond, take the 20 minutes, and get yourself a good wax. What goggles are you going to wear today? Mark is going to let us know.